You can find an overview of all my videos at www.genesispc.com and you click on the button videos on YouTube and you get a complete listing of all the videos I created for you. Sometimes you want in a certain column very correct data without typing them all. For then you always run the risk of typos. So wh what is a good way to do such a thing? You create a list of the correct entries. I happen to have a list that runs from A1 through A25. I put that in there. And that is, the, let's say, the validated list. Those are correct names, correct spellings. And then directly under it, directly, I create a validation cell. These are all validation cells. And in the validation cell, you can first of all get those names. But what I don't like about it, you have to scroll down, especially when it's a long list. So why can't we just type it? Let's say I, I want to type Ernst Handel. At the moment I do this, it will look in the list above and find that name so I can accept it or not. But still, if someone types a name that does not exist and enters, it will be accepted as a new name, but it's not in the list of official ones on top there. So I'm going to undo this and uh, what are we going to do in all these steps? First of all, create your list. Place your list in A1 through A25 or much longer. And immediately under it, I stress immediately because it has to be in contact with that list, we put a validation. Data, validation, and you allow from a certain list. And where is the list? In this case from A1 to A25. And I click OK that. That means if it's not in that list A1 through A25, it will not be accepted. It violates the validation rule. And you copy that formula down all the way down. So if I happen to type in there A, B, C and enter, it will tell me, sorry, that is not possible. But I can type, let me do again the same one, that one is acceptable. What you probably want to do is you want to hide that official list. Right click on those rows and hide. So it looks like you just have data entries here. And then you type any next one that you want to do. Franken percent, etc. But I can never do ABC. It's a combination of validation and what Excel calls autocorrect. It automatically corrects things, so you don't have to type the whole word and go into typos. I'm going to do something similar. It's not autocorrect more or less, but I'm going to format social security numbers and phone numbers. I'm going to do that with validation, then with formatting, and then with VBA code. In VBA, I can toggle. I can turn that that formatting on or off. Let me show you. Control Shift S. It turns it off or on. Control Shift P. Turns it on or off. So how would you do that with validation? Validation would very simple be we regulate how long that string can be. If you just want numbers, it is two, four, six, nine options. Data validation. And you see the text length is a minimum of nine, a maximum of nine, or it is equal to whatever you choose. But that is nice, but it will only avoid numbers that are too short or too long. It cannot really do formatting. If you want to do formatting, you have to format all the cells in that column. You select the entire column and then format all those cells, format cells, and make that a custom option. In custom, you can insert your own little elements. 
So we want three numbers. The code for that is 0, 0, 0. And then we need a literal dash. Double quotes, dash, double quotes. Then we need two more numbers, 0, 0. And then a literal dash again, double quotes, dash, double quotes. And then four zeros. That is a custom one. And it will automatically do all of that. A similar story for the phone number. I do it just for one cell, but you should do it for the entire column. Column. Then we start with double quotes, open parenthesis, double quotes. Three zeros, and then a literal closing parenthesis and a dash, insights, double quotes, etc. I think it speaks for itself. The only thing is if you do it this way, you cannot turn it on or off. If you want to turn it on or off, you need VBA code, Visual Basic for Applications, in this case Excel. So how would we do that? We go to Visual Basic, Alt F11, you insert a module in that project, and you call them with a name of your choosing, I called it the subroutine SSN and the subroutine phone, and then I connect a shortcut key to that. So I do some data validation in there by saying if the length of the active cell is not 9, then exit the sub. Then I'm in the wrong column or in the wrong cell. If the active cell entire column number format equals, and inside these quotes, it has to be inside quotes, it's a string, I have to do what I did in the format cells, three zeros, and then I need double quote dash double quote, but because I have already double quotes, I need double quotes inside double quotes, and those are double double quotes. So one, two dash one two zero zero one two dash one two one two four four then make the number format general otherwise create that format and it's clear you need something similar for the phone number if the length is not 10 then forget it then we are in the wrong column otherwise and there we go again we start with a double quote for the number format and we end with a double quote. And inside those quotes, I need sometimes double double quotes to put a string inside a string. Open parenthesis, three zeros, close parenthesis and a dash, etc. I think that speaks for itself. If that is already there, then we make it general. Otherwise, we make it that number format, which is basically a custom number format. So we go back to from Visual Basic to Excel, and now we can test that thing. Control Shift S, Control Shift S. If I do Control Shift S here, it will not do anything because the, we are not in the right length of characters. Again, the characters dash and open and close parentheses are not really in there. So don't worry about the length. The length is still 10 here and the length is still 9 there because those dashes and parentheses, they come from formatting issues, so they are not really in that cell. VBA is so powerful that whatever you come up with, VBA can do it if you know what to do. So how do you know what to do? I made a CD-ROM for you that can do this for us. It's, um, you can buy that on behalf of your company. And so you can give copies of that CD-ROM to your workers or co-workers and they will learn very nicely, very easily through interactive CDs what to do on variables, loop statements, etc. What to do with formulas and arrays and what to do more advanced stuff, buttons, forms, etc. You can even make your own custom object. This can be found at genesispc.com.